and objects and actions model. I claim that this is useful in understanding programming, in understanding user interface design, understanding how to teach user interfaces, and I claim useful in designing web pages. The fundamental principle is that there are three categories of knowledge. The detailed syntactic knowledge of do I click or double click or how do I type a command or where do I type are the details the presentation of it, whether the thing uses a large font or a small font, color or not, uh, all those visual presentation details I would load into the syntactic issues. The computer semantics are concepts about the objects in the computer, pages, sites, um, and actions. What can I do? Can I go backwards? Can I go forwards? Can I search? What do I do on the computer? And the third category are the task semantics. Am I dealing with geophysical data from NASA? I have to understand concepts of latitude and longitude. I have to know about infrared and ultraviolet. I have to know something about the topic. It has nothing to do with being on a computer. Let me review these again with another example. Stock market. You may have information about the stock market. Objects would be a purchase of a share. Higher concepts would be the ownership of a share, an industry segment, a portfolio for a client, or a collection of portfolios. I claim they're hierarchically organized, and once I explain to you the structure of it, it will retain, be retained in your memory. It's meaningfully acquired. The actions, what can you do? You can buy or sell some stock. You can evaluate a portfolio. They're actions. Don't say anything about a computer. The computer semantics describe how you implement it. You could do stock market portfolio analysis with a spreadsheet, with a database, with a word processor, or with a special program. If you're using a word processor, you have to know about inserting and deleting lines, about changing cells, about copying things. You have different semantics and different objects to deal with. And then the syntax is how do you go about copying something, moving something, what do I do? What do I type? What does it look like on the screen? Now, this is a representation of what's in your mind. The process, I claim, uh, would be to flow from the task semantics down to the computers, down to the syntax. It mirrors Donald Norman's seven stages theory of the user actions. They form an intention in their mind. They prepare a plan. They determine what syntax they need. They execute their plan. They see what comes up on the screen, they interpret it, and they figure out if it helped them do their task. And they go back in that cycle again. I think that's a good model for understanding uh, user interfaces and website design as well. Okay? The syntactic knowledge, fortunately, is, as I said, declining in its power. The computer semantics are still something of a burden to learn about all the features, history keeping, stacks, search. Um, going backwards, going forwards, uh, passwords sometimes, um, a variety of issues that are in the computer domain. But I think the goal of good design is to minimize those and allow more effort, you know, to minimize the computer and the task syntax and allow, I'm sorry, to minimize the computer and the syntax domains and uh, emphasize the task domain. If you get a good task-oriented system then, like the visible human that I showed you before, clicking through is real easy. Let's take another NASA example just to see how you might benefit from a design. Some of the NASA examples, some of the NASA examples require typing in of latitude and longitude and knowing codes for satellite image data for geographic locations. But here's one of the NASA sites. This is a Brazilian one, which has a map of Brazil and although there are 200 clickable areas there, the map is so apparent, it's not a lot of hassle to click on one of those, and then you get this image of that Landsat image. Doesn't take a lot of computer skill, it's comprehensible, and even though there are so many data points to select, it is no problem in navigating in this environment. Can we find those kind of designs in other situations? I believe we can. Okay? I'm going to try to show you how, we do, how to do some of them. 
Um, 